Good afternoon, friends. Today we are going to um, go through this flip chart about understanding patterns. I know that before our school closure, we did touch on this a little, but we're going to get into this slideshow once more for um, increased understanding. Alrighty, let's move on. What are patterns? What are patterns? Patterns are made up of numbers, objects, or shapes that follow a repeating or growing rule. Patterns help us to predict what will come next. They can be repeating or growing, all right? So, Let's label these. All right, where is that? Okay. So this pattern here, there's a square with a triangle, and then there's two squares with a triangle, and then there's three squares with a triangle. This is obviously a pattern, but um, what is significant about this pattern? Right here we have one and one. Next we have two squares and two triangles. And the next one you see three squares and three triangles. So if you said this was a growing pattern, you were correct. This is an example of a growing pattern. All right, good job guys. And secondly, we have this one here. Right, we have cone, cone, rectangular prism, cone, cone, rectangular prism. Is this a growing or repeating pattern? This portion here repeats. It's here initially and then it's there as a secondary piece. So I definitely would call this a repeating. Repeating pattern, absolutely, all right? Give you guys a chance to look at that. And we're gonna move forward, all right? So, what is a repeating pattern? A repeating pattern follows a repeating rule. Uh, the part of the pattern that repeats is called the core or the unit. Another word for this is unit. I'm gonna add that underneath. All right. Another word for core is the is the unit in a pattern. The unit or the core is the piece that you're going to see over and over again. And we can anticipate what happens next. So we have cylinder, cylinder, pyramid, cylinder, cylinder, pyramid. What might be next? Right, cylinder, cylinder, and then pyramid again. All right, here in this activity, they would like for us to circle each core of the repeating pattern. All right, so firstly, we have circle, square, circle, Square, circle, square. What is the repeating pattern here? What is the core? If you said circle, square, you would be correct. So let's circle this guy right here. All right, excellent job, friends. All right, let's move on to the next. We have triangle, diamond, Rectangle, triangle, diamond, rectangle. What would be the core here? What would it be? Let's look at it carefully. If you said triangle, diamond, rectangle, you would be absolutely correct because this is the portion that we see yet again here. We see that again, right? 
Take a second to review. All right, excellent job. Third, we have purple oval, green oval, circle. Green oval, purple oval, green oval. This uh, repeating pattern is a little gnarly. Uh, he's a little tricky. Um, I'm just gonna help you guys out here because this is uh, a bit difficult. We see that the repeating piece is that green oval. That green oval is the piece that is repeating, right? But not to exclude the purple oval and the orange. So whatever pattern we have has to include the orange because this orange guy, if we leave him out, we have, we, we're, we're going to end up in a funky situation. We have to be very, very conscious to include him. So we have to have purple because purple repeats here. And we have to have green because green repeats two additional times. And though we do not see the orange circle, we want to include that. So if I were to say what the repeating pattern would be here, I would say it will be purple oval, green oval, orange circle, green oval. And the reason why I say that is because if we use this as our core and we count from here, just bear with me, friends, bear with me. We have purple oval, green oval, orange circle, green oval. Start again. Purple oval, green oval, and then right here, I got to excuse my circle. It looks kind of yucky. I know. I do apologize. We're going to try to make this as circular as we can. We're going to try to have some symmetry, right? And then next will be what? Our green oval. That green oval that is trying to trick us. We're going to set him right there. All right? So based on this, we got purple oval, green oval, orange circle, green oval. Right? And we start over. This matches this, and this matches that, and this matches this, and this matches that. Do you see how that is the pattern? So then this piece would be our second unit that followed that repeating pattern. And then you would just start over as we continue. Alrighty? And finally, last but not least, um, square, rectangle. Square, rectangle. Square, rectangle. What's our unit? What is our core? What is it? Yes, it is this right here. Square, rectangle. Excellent, excellent, excellent job. All right, give you guys a chance to review that before we move on. Let's move on. Drawing patterns. Follow the rule. So we add one. All right? Add one. So here we have one. And then we add one that makes two. And then here we add one. And we end up with three triangles, right? And then we add one, and we end up with, I'm gonna move this guy up because he is in a yucky space. Yep, and then four. So our patterns will tell us what happens next. So one plus one is two. And then two plus one is Right, three. And three plus one is one, two, three, four, four. So you can predict what happens next based on what we saw here. Alrighty? Give you a chance to look at that. Okay. Now, our next growing pattern is down bottom. Down bottom, we have one. One little unifix cube plus two is how many? Let's count. Count with me. One, two, 
three. If you said three, you are absolutely correct. All right. Why is this icon so ginormous? I don't want that to be so big. That's a lot. Let's bring him down. All right. So we have one and we added two. That makes three. Then we have three and we add two. How many is that? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Five. If you said five, you'd be correct. All right. And finally, I'm going to put this guy here. All right. We started out here with five. We add two. So we count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent job. That will make seven. Seven total. Very good. All right. Give you a chance to review. Check for understanding. All right, let's move on to the sixth and final slide. This slide, I want you guys to do the heavy lifting. So those of you that are uh, not in my class and are subscribing to my YouTube channel, just go over this, um, you know, uh, practice, draw a picture, give it to mom or dad or older brother or sister, whatever, whatever works is fine. Um, but for those of you that are in my class and have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would like for my friends to actually do this activity, okay, and then take a picture and send it to me on Class Dojo. You have access. If you do not have access, please reach out to me via Class Dojo so I can give you the information that you need if you did not receive it already in order to um, send me this information so I know that you get it. I need to understand it. You understand so right here, you see this growing pattern, and it wants you to find the rule for each growing pattern. So if you follow the rule, what would be next? So what I want you guys to do is, I want you guys to enter your answer. What would come next on that line, right? And I want you guys to take a picture and send it to me in class dojo. I know that we are in trying times. We really are. But guess what? School might be closed, but education isn't. So you guys are going to go up here. You're going to give it your best shot. If you want to put them in green, yellow, and then red, you want a number on one, two, three. I don't care how you do it as long as you're learning. I'm super excited to see what you guys come up with. I think you're awesome. I think you're rock stars. And um, this is Ms. Ainsworth signing off. All right. Have an excellent day. And I will talk to you guys soon.